Hello there, welcome to part two of the modifications on the ICOM IC756 Pro 2 series or the Pro series. The Pro 2 is the one I'm using myself. In part one I show you how to convert the CCFL tube or how to take it out to fit in the LEDs. That all went well. We also fitted a 317 voltage regulator to adjust from a preset brightness. This part two is to do with making a connection from a backlight control, the existing one in there, and we can adjust the brightness from the LCD screen, the original adjustment. On the schematic here, we can see it's got LCD backlight connection at that point there, or not as such there, it's got a voltage reading for max and minimum um, but that's the point we need to connect on so that is on the main schematic that's the LCD backlight voltage connection so that's where we're going to connect on to on, on the schematic is that point there it, it's that section there where they all junction together where they all meet so that connection, that's where we need to put a solder connection just in there. Now, you haven't got to be, we well, have got to be fussy, but the fact that they are the same connection there, so a little bit of solder sort of not quite right there, it's probably not going to hurt as long as we don't overdo it and we don't obviously short out anything here. So we get into there, and that's R801, R802, and R806 junction which I show you on the schematic. So that's the point there where we need to get in or make that solder connection. I will put a diagram in the description, a PDF diagram um, of the board, the PCB board I've put together and the layout of that and also a diagram for the little circuit we need to put in just to, to take the control from, from this voltage through a device, a transistor, enable us to put a constant current circuit in to regulate the LEDs that are in the screen. The other connection we need is for the supply, the 14 volt supply. Again, if we're looking at that PCB, I've zoomed out so you know where I'm going. I'm going down there. Let's just move it so we can see the connection for it. Just bear with me, we'll get there. We're going right down here, and there you'll see there's a regulator there. But the part we're interested in is where these two resistors meet. Again, I'll put the information on a PDF in the description, and that's that's R862 and R863. We need this to solder across on that either there, just to jump the power wire from there which give us 14 volt. I did give that description in video one, but that's the other connection. So there's two connections, that's the supply and the adjust for the brightness is the other connection I just show you. First of all, if you had a go at the, the first stage, I asked you to cut something. I asked or said possibly, there's a, a choke here. We're in this top can. Let's come back a bit, let me zoom in, have a focus up. We're in the back of the, on the PCB, that, that where I said cut that choke. Solder it up, just put a little uh, top, uh, touch of solder, join that up again. You need to do that. Stage one. If you've never done that and you haven't done the first mod, then you won't need to touch that. Just leave it as it is. Now if you look at this where that choke is you will see I've got a, there's a red wire here I've just fed it through through this here and it comes out up here just to get out of this because there's a cover going here you can see that red wire if you just follow that with your eyes a bit and it's difficult like this I will show you on the circuit on the screen but I've tacked a wire on and it's just down it's just down there. I've tacked a wire on there, so that's the that's the only difficult bit. 
at the moment just making the little circuit, little PCB board. That's what I've put together. Um, just that one device, a couple of components. Where that's going to go, it's going to mount just in there. So I've got the earth screw or one of the screws of the PCB but it is grain of screw it grain onto this copper but we're also at the same time going to put in um, a soldered wire as well onto that screw so we get that in there's the board oil all back the newly made board I'll put some stills in you can see it just there that's the new one um, the easiest way to work on this rather than keep pulling these ribbons out because I had a little problem with one of the ribbons as such this little plastic strengtheners on each end of the ribbon and it's glued on but it's difficult to find a glue that will actually take and the times I messed about with those ribbons so in the end I just used a bit of double sided, very fine double sided tape in between the very fine like little film or gluey type of thing in between the tape and uh, I stuck them on with there, you can just see the little blue one on there look. so rather than keep pulling them out it's easy just to situate it like that to work on and you haven't got the problem of keep pulling them out, you just got to be a little bit steady with it. But I'll put some stills of the circuit in as well. Right, first thing in the morning, switch it on. It was on several hours yesterday, using it or we'll experiment with it. The display was left, and there we go, it's right back. Nothing's changed, so, um, quite happy with that I would just say it's a better camera so we're trying to get a better shot but the camera does compensate a bit for for different things um, that's set at 50% let me just give you an idea if I go to yeah we're on 50% now well, I know what's going to happen that's brighter and that's the dark the, the, the darkness but the camera's compensating because it's going bright dark Right, you can see it a bit quick before the camera's got a chance to alter it. There you go. So if I go to 50%, it's ideal viewing. I can't give you a shot too well because, like, you see the camera's compensating for it. But I'm quite happy with that. If I show you a few more frames with um, display type, display type A. Display B, they are yellow, that 7167 is all yellow. Um, the cameras bring it up more of a white by the look of it. There we go, they're green digits. Then they're more green on the actual rig than they are on the camera, but nevertheless, it's still okay. That's white. The whiteness on, this, on the rig looks brighter than the camera whiteness but the camera's compensating again there we go there's a uh, display E display F the blue on the rig is very blue the camera is Pedri type blue I'd say again with display G very blue on the rig, Pedri blue on the camera, so, um, and the last one, H. But, overall, it's excellent as far as I'm concerned, we'll go back to A. Very happy with that, I just want to change the font, don't like that font, we'll stick with that one. There we go. Um, Great, works as a treat. I'm very happy with that. As you can see, the pictures or the screen is very nice. It doesn't go dark or it doesn't go glare and bright. It just allows you to dim it or to brighten it. 
and halfway set and it's perfect viewing so we're very happy with that tool that's the internal brightness control we've done away with the little circuit board to with a preset voltage good okay thanks for that